So basically, I have a lot of information for the preservation of the good of humanity. Therefore, I decided that I would share it with the world. It would be a shame to waste such pertinent information, in other words. And since that's always there, you can think about what would happen if it wasn't there. I know that sounds like a paradox. If you look for something, chances are you already have it, therefore you're never going to find it. I am hallucinating. Entities on the other side of reality. Well, it's not really like the other side of reality. It's like when you look at a mandala and then you realize that the threads are actually there and there's depth to it. But then you keep going and there's so much depth to it that the original mandala becomes not a part of the equation. The schism of the modern human era is to separate the mandala from the succeeding nine dimensions of it. <laughs> Believe your spiritual experiences, first of all. Realize that you're made of the same amount of dimensions. Second of all... There's another one. Reality exists. Hallucinations are reality. People who experience psychedelic consciousness understand that there is something beyond the physical universe. Everything that exists is really just the face of the hologram. But the thing about the holographic principle is looking at the surface of a hologram gives you the same information as looking at the entire thing. So, if the universe is a hologram and hallucinations are on the other side or the second layer or whatever, and string theory is right, and there are 10 physical dimensions to reality, all that's left to do is quantum experimentation.